Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. Lloyd's Welding here. Um, sorry if the camera quality is bad. Uh, my phone recently broke, and I haven't had the cash to get another one. Plus, my my uh, update for my phone, my renewal, or whatever you want to call it, upgrade. There you go. It don't uh, come in until the 26th or 27th of February, so I'm just waiting it out. And I got one of my old phones, so. Um, <clears throat> what we're doing is uh, right there where that building's at, there used to be a, a fence all the way down through there. And that was my chicken lot I had before. Well, we took it and moved that chicken lot straight back, cut it down. And uh, the building used to be sitting right here this past weekend. I moved it. Me and my wife moved it over there. And my dad. Uh, what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to start kennels. Um, we have a beautiful golden retriever. Female. This is Kona. That right there is Rebels. And right there on the porch is Peppers. Or Boston. But... Uh, <clears throat> Peppers and Kona are both pregnant and expecting puppies within the next, um, I think about 45 days. <clears throat> and, uh, so what we're going to do is I don't want, you know, 15, 20 puppies inside the house. So we moved this one of my old sheds over here. And I cleaned everything out of it. Uh, moved it to the old house we've been working on. And I'm going to use this to build uh, welcome boxes or welcome stations. And I'm going to put four of them in here. And uh, i got to put some windows up, some lights and some fans, a panel box, uh, putting a heater back here, cutting a hole for oh, putting a window unit in. Uh, <clears throat> just got a lot of stuff that we're doing. Um, I might end up making a page for, or a YouTube channel for Hunt Creek Kennels. I don't know yet. Or we might just keep using the one that I got because, get down, Colin. Stop, baby. Stop. Stop. Because, uh, we want to update people with their puppies and show them our kennels and whatnot. But right here, I'm going to put a... 12 foot wide, it's uh, I think 36 foot long or 30 foot long uh, kennel, and it's gonna have six stalls in it, 12 by six. I think that's what I figured up. And then I'm leaving room behind it to build an indoor part later if we want to, um, which will probably happen. And I have more room over there to put more kennels. Um, what we're going to try to specialize in in is uh, golden retrievers. Uh, she's pregnant right now with a set of golden doodles, um, or should be. Um, Peppers has the Boston's, and we're keeping two females off her, so we'll, we'll have two golden doodle females that we can breed again and have the F1Bs or whatever it is. Uh, my wife knows more about it than I do. I have to get her involved in this stuff now. And uh, But my next phase is to... I'm coming off my shop over here. Uh, I'm going to dig a trench and run power over here. Uh, what I'll probably do is put a 50 amp breaker in my shop and run a heavy enough wire for 50 amps and put a panel box in there. That way I can break off of maybe three wires or three, you know, breakers in inside that panel box and run one for like the heater, one for all the lights in there, and then run another line out and down and over here to the kennels so I can put a light in every stall of the kennel over here. Um, then the backyard is muddy and we have four dogs right now. Um... It's super muddy already and it's super small. So what we are going to do or what we're looking at doing is getting some uh, uh, metal edging that I use for landscaping. 
finish my porch out, come off my porch, go up through here, make a walkway to that, and then turn probably right in here somewhere and make a walkway to the kennels that will be along this way. And then we're going to fill the backyard full of mulch. We're going to just completely cover it up because I don't think with us having more than four dogs or anything like that, we're going to be able to keep grass in here anyways so that's our game plan right now that's going to be the whelping area to bring the puppies up right there we're going to have a set of kennels as soon as i get the money going <clears throat> and i'm going to fill the backyard full of mulch to keep down all this red mud that is everywhere but that's that guys um, I will keep you updated when we start doing the wiring and stuff on the building and the uh, When we start building all the panels and all the rooms and doors and whatnot and how I'm gonna do everything But there it is All right guys, um Right now we're in the middle of putting windows in I just put these two in And we're getting ready to Cut a hole right there, put a window in, and the window unit's going to go right there. I uh, couldn't find a window to fit it. I got these from the salvage yard. So I'm just going to cut a hole and place it in there. That it don't need a window. And uh, um, I'm getting ready to put linoleum down too. So I'm getting ready to work on that. But here's how it's coming along. Windows are five foot sixty. I think 62 inches by uh, two foot. All right, guys, this is where we got to, to the end of our, on our Saturday. Uh, put two windows in, put those in sideways. There's a light you see back here. That's another window. My feet are muddy. And we put down this linoleum floor. We got a, we didn't worry too much about lining everything up because there's gonna be stalls down through here and stuff like that. And you know, you ain't really gonna see it. <clears throat> but uh, back here's a box for the heat unit. Over here's, we put a box above each one of the bays that's gonna be in here so we can put a heat lamp. Put another plug in there for just like if we put a refrigerator in here for shots and whatnot or, you know, food. Um, got plenty of shelving. Uh, I got to clean some of this off. Some of this is my my fishing stuff, my cart fishing stuff. But <clears throat> I was told I get one top shelf and that's it. So the rest are my wife's. But uh, next thing we're going to do is come in here and wire it. Uh, I put fixtures up for two ceiling fans. We're going to come in here and wire it with 14.2, uh, I think it is. And then the, the back wall plug-in back here has to be wired at... Uh, 220 for the heat pump slash air conditioning unit but this is what it looks like so far i'll keep y'all updated all right guys uh got the 100 amp panel box in uh these are the three the breakers i'm running there's five all together uh but it's six poles not six poles but six sections so you could have six breakers in it total if you wanted to but this is going to run the uh air conditioned heater it takes 30 amp and these are going to be lights fans and whatnot and plug-ins <clears throat> um i uh, had all my boxes set up got me some drill bits drilled a one inch hole for each one of my two by fours uh put this box up uh as like a junction box that way i can bring power in here and split it off three ways with a wire nut and bring it into each one of my switches. That's not commonly used that way, but that's the way I'm gonna do it. And uh, drill me two holes up there to run across the top and plug in over there, and then one hole to go up and hit my ceiling fans. Um, and then one switch is gonna be for the fans, one switch is gonna be for the lights, and then one switch is gonna be for an outside light. Uh, I'm gonna put either an outside light right there or to make it look nicer I'm gonna put a light right here and a light on the other side of the door I ain't decided yet 
um, see what the wife likes. But I've got that far. Uh, the only problems I'm having with turning the windows sideways, it's been raining and the windows are catching water like I figured. See it holding water right there? Um, they're not meant to lay sideways. So what I'm gonna have to do is up above here, I'm gonna have to bring out an awning about, I don't know, six to eight inches I'd say and just enough to keep the water from blowing in on the window and it leaking right there. Well, that's what I got so far. Um, <clears throat> when you're running this uh, 30 amp, usually on your plugins, you use like a 14.2 or 12.2, usually 14.2 on your plugins. And uh, you can use a 12.2, but on this 30 amp, you gotta use a, a 10.2 or a 10.3. I decided to go with a 10.3, that way I've got a red wire for a hot two. Um, I can show you more about wiring it up, but you run your two hot leads in here, your black and your red. Uh, this right here is your neutral bar, and then you had to buy, I had to buy this, it's a ground bar. Um, so your, <clears throat> your red and black go here, your white will go here, and then your copper wire will go up there. And then when I run, I gotta knock, take this and knock this out. Drill a hole through the floor, and I got to get some 100 amp mobile home wire and bring in here and put it in these lugs right there. And there's one more right there. So that's that. Um, keep y'all updated. All right, guys. I'm going to wire up my first receptacle. It's going to be here, and what it's going to do is it's going to run. I got a squirrel cage fan, and I'm going to put a little platform right here and put a fan right here. That way, if when the puppies are in here, you know, might start stinking or if we're cleaning and the chemicals or whatever we're doing, um, we can open these two windows. We can have the fans on, but I can open these two windows, leave that door open or close it, turn the squirrel cage fan on, open this window and pull air through and draw all the air out. And I can do that in the summertime as well and not run my, my heater when I get it put in. But, uh, <clears throat> These right here, they're uh, Romex strippers. Uh, I've had these for probably, I wanna say 10 years now. Um, they're the most handiest thing in the world. They've got that little bitty tooth right there. And what you do is you slide it up on there, about six inches or so, pinch down and pull. And then it strips that coating off. It's your best friend when it comes to this stuff. Makes it so much easier on you. Um, but on here, uh, what I do is I cut this off with my knife or pliers. This white is your neutral, copper is your ground, and then black is your hot. It's not like in your car. Uh, well, what you do is these gold white, these gold posts is your hot, and if you can't remember that, it's always the small one. And then the silver posts are your neutral. And it's the bigger side. And then your ground post is always green, 90% of the time. I mean, I've never, nothing I've ever seen that didn't have a ground post wasn't green besides like in a panel box. But that's that. And what you'll do is you'll, you'll get you a set of these wire strippers. Uh, this is 14 too. You find the 14 on there, pinch it. Pinch it on there, twist it, pull it. You only want to strip back about about an inch or so, and then you take these pliers, pinch it, bite the tip of it. Let's see if I can get them open. Bite the tip of it and then roll, and that'll create your hooks for your screws. And when I get it done, I'll show you what I mean. All right, guys. Um, this is what I was talking about. You strip the edges about an inch or so, bend them over. You might strip it back a little more. Uh, as long as you get the screw on tight, it don't seem to hurt nothing. Um, <clears throat> what you do is hook one black one up here, the other black one down here, and then make sure you keep that white one right there, and then that white one up there. Keep them on the same plug in. These two top two, these top two are this plug in, and these bottom two are this plug in, because it's got a a piece right 
there my phone won't focus but if you break that piece off you can put this on a switch put this one on the switch and this one on the switch or this one live all the time and then this one on the switch if you wire it right but this is all i'm doing running from wiring one up run it to here i wire this one up that one's wired the same that one's wired the same and that one right there is wired the same but it's only got one wire on it because that's the end of the run and then <clears throat> come here and then uh i'll have to i had to go all the way across and over the door to catch that one then go back and then back up into my panel box to tie in here